Hello, this is Charlie Zorro, and welcome to episode 5 in the Adventures of Denisha. Before heading up to Dulanon, Denisha decided to take a swim down the River Lewin to try to get to the derelict ship that's at the southern tip of the region. So that's the ship that's sitting behind her, and unfortunately this is as far as she can get. So there's an invisible barrier that... Uh, prevents her from getting any further and so technically this is the end of the region so this is as far as we can go but I thought that you all might like to see this far down south and as close as we can get to that derelict ship so Denise is going to swim back up to Selendim and then head up to Dulanon and so we'll catch up with her when she gets to Dulanon. Hello, well we're not at Dulanon. Uh, just as uh, Denisha was passing um, sorry, just as Denisha was passing Salandem, she saw this island out in the middle of the uh, the river and decided, what the heck? I've never been there. So she's going to take a look and scope it out. And it's just right outside Selendim. Up there's like the crafting area and, and where the, uh, the bard is. In case you're wondering where this is located. And down there is the Fathlon Homestead. Okay. We're going to get on top of that rock. Oh, darn it. <laughs> Guess I have to get a more of a running start. In some cases, when you want to get on top of something and your character can't quite make it, use your horse. Because your horse has a longer run or a longer jump. And there we go. <laughs> I'm on top of the world. Woohoo! Now Denisha's curious. Can we get into the Fathalon homesteads from this side? And just as importantly, what's on this little island? Uh, looks like it's the same type of rock as the other one, so we'll skip it. However, here's the Fathalon Homesteads. And it looks like there's a barrier to keep out trespassers like Denisha. Yep. So to get into the homesteads, you have to go around. Oh well, you live some, live, live and learn. But this is pretty cool.
Okay. Well, Denise is going to try to make it up to uh, Doolanon again, so I'm going to pause the video and we'll catch up with her there, assuming she doesn't find someplace else to investigate. Okay, Denisha has finally made it to Doolanon. She... She went the long way around, up down the river, or actually up the river, but um, she has arrived. This is the festival area. Of course, there's no festival going on now, so you don't need to be concerned. There's the stable master. And I want to change my milestone. Okay, let's go up and see what's going on. What can I do for you? Mind my words, traveler. Okay, the cleansing draught. You have decided to help me. Excellent. There is a draught I know the making of that should cleanse the taint of the ruins of Dull Ringwest. I have most of the ingredients I need, but there is one remaining herb. A fragrant herb that grows on the shores of the river running north to south below Dulanon. Oh well, if I'd known that, she could have uh, she could have gone ahead and collected those on her way in. So we'll go back down and get the herbs for him. But before we do that, let's go up and check on the next person. Greetings to you. Ah, okay. This is the lady who wanted the uh, the vintage wine, so we've delivered that. My heart cannot sing. Ah, Begar. My brother wishes to leave Middle-earth, but I believe it is time for us to stand our ground against the shadow growing in the east. With your help, perhaps, Tehran will see reason. This Middle-earth, which we love, will soon face great peril, and we are bound to defend it. Yet I cannot, I cannot yet sail west. Will you hear my sorrows? Tehran must know that while I remain behind, I will ever be with him. To do this, I will need your aid. So much of this land has been our shelter and teacher, and our memories are filled with moments of joy and laughter because of this land. I think perhaps my brother will appreciate this well enough to see me on my journey as he begins his own. In the ruins of Dal Ringwest, there lies a sword upon a stone. Born once by a duodane, we fought beside in defense of our homeland. I may be able to remind my brother of our duty to Middle Earth. My duties here when a lot will not allow me to leave, but I hope you will see the need I have to seal this rift between my brother and I. Okay, so we want to go up and retrieve the stone, or retrieve the sword. We can do that. Will you hear my sorrows? Ooh, the evil of Dal Ringwest. Ancient battles were fought at the ruins of Dal Ringwest, and we had thought the evil purged. Now goblins toil within the ruins and des desecrate the memory of the place. I would ask that you do your best to clear the goblins from these ruins. I will. It will ease my heart and perhaps aid my brother Toron to leave in peace. You will find the goblins and residents of Dal Ringwest in the west to the west of Dulanon. Okay, well we will certainly do that since... Uh, Denisha does not like goblins whatsoever. Ah, there's who we need to speak to. Dora Ghoul Whitehorn. What can I do for you? Your news is troubling, Denisha. For dwarves to work peacefully with goblins is unusual enough, but to com conspire in the abduction of an elf prince seems foolhardy even for them. I will not call our warriors to arms just yet. Cardova is full of anger, which is to be expected, 
but as master of Dulanon, it is my duty to exercise restraint. If the dwarves have indeed taken Averall, we will fall upon them with such fury that the mountains will shake at our passing. But this could also be a trick of the goblins. They should have much to gain by a war between the elves and the dwarves. Might you spare a moment of your time? The emissary. I have dispatched an emissary to the dwarf city of Gondaman to relax the growing tensions between elves and dwarves, but I fear rumor of Averall's captivity might prove too great a strain for her to ease. Journey north and west along the road to Gondaman and tell Galthan what has transpired here. Together you and she must learn the truth of Averall's whereabouts and rescue him, if indeed he is a prisoner of the dwarves. I do not wish for war until we are certain of his fate. If Averall has been harmed or we are unable to free him, I will call our warriors to arms, but not before. Well, that makes perfect sense. Okay, let's run down and get the herbs. Very quickly, though, I want to run up here. This is a very beautiful area. It's a great lookout. There are... Over there is the Fathalon Homesteads. And then further down is the island that Denisha was just on playing around with the rocks. And beyond that is Selendim. And if you run back over here... There's the Great Bridge and the River Lewin. So, kind of a neat place to come to. But what we want to do is go down the hill and back to the riverfront to pick up the herbs. Yay! Now, you may notice Denisha has a greatsword now. Katang, one of our kinsmen, made it for her. And that's the sword she's been after. Now she can do some serious damage. Okay. We have the fragrant herbs. Let's head back up. What do you need? Ah, they're just in time. The last step of the process is to add the herbs you have collected for me. After that, it simply needs to seep for a few minutes and the draught will be complete. Mind my words, Chapel. Cleansing the ruins. The draught is ready. All that remains is for it to be 
sprinkled upon the grounds within the ruins of Dal Ringwest. Well, how interesting. Good thing we're going there already. It will encourage and speed the growth of the natural vines that one often finds in such places. So much so that by the end of the next spring, the ruins will be buried in a great mass of them. In but a short time, they will reduce the ruins to naught but rumble, returning them to pristine nature once again. Okay, so we just need to find the two towers and sprinkle the, uh, the draught. Stay a moment. My duty to this land will not be complete until the terror that brought ruin here is ousted. Our efforts thus far has met with earnest and proven that you too desire to see the land restored and cleansed of the evil wrought upon it. While in the ruins, I would ask that you seek out the leader of the goblins there, Durklap. He is particularly a nasty goblin and should not be underestimated. You will find that creature within the confines of Dal Ringwest. Okay. Well, she'll be happy to take him apart. So let's mount up and we'll take on the goblins of Dal Ringwest. And there's your ruins up ahead of us. <laughs> ah, our first goblin. Dark gun, he moved out of range. Got him. Oh, cool! We completed Goblin Slayer. Ooh, a zeal, that'll be nice. So, we're gonna have to take out the goblins, too. Come here, you. Now let's see if this will work. Well, it doesn't if they all run away. That's the way. Cool. Come back here. Oh, and here's the stone. And we have found the broken sword. Okay, let's see if we can't find... Looks like this is one of the towers, so we'll take these two guys out. And there's a chest. Cool. And now we want to go ahead and sp sprinkle one of the draughts. Attack me from behind, will ya? 
All right. Now let's take out Durglop. <laughs> There we go. All right, now let's find the other tower. Can't go through there. Can't go through here. thought that would kill him. Come back here. Ah, oh, looks like this is the other tower. So we'll drop the draught here. All right. Looks like we can head back. First, let's collect some goblins. All right, that ought to be enough. Excellent, you should change level at the same time. Very cool. Excellent. All right. Let's head back to Dulanon. Megovanen. It is good to know that the threat posed by this creature is no more. I thank you for your efforts. Excellent. Let's see which... Actually, Kim Tarza rings her much, much better, so we're just gonna pick one and go with it. What do you need? Thank you, Denisha. It pains me that I shall never again walk among the spires, which I remember from my youth, but better this than to leave Middle-earth with the knowledge that they are a home to creatures of darkness. And we'll take that. Stay a moment. Glimmer's Vigil. As Thin Glidar sent you to me, so might I ask a final favor of you. Our youngest brother has also taken this onus upon himself and likely requires aid as he has not yet returned to us. If you can help him, I would be grateful. 
be warned that the lands of Haolin in the northern to the north are considerably more dangerous than our domain and our brother is likely likewise of hotter temperament as benefits his task in that place I last saw him amongst the ruins near the shore of the Grimwater, a small lake northeast of the dwarf outpost we call Gondaman. He is likely still there. Okay, well we can certainly find him and offer our assistance. So let's go ahead and head back over here. We want to go ahead and return the broken sword. There's Brigor. Whoops, excuse me. My heart cannot sing today. The memory of that place will always be one of melancholy, knowing that the goblins have been purged restores a small amount of hope to me, Denisha. You have brought a timely resolution with regard to Dalring Quest, and I thank you for this. Cool. And again, these bracelets, either one would be fine. Gray is the shadow. On this the blade means much, broken and dulled as it may be. Alas, the passage of time does little to dull my memories of that battle. Perhaps I have underestimated the importance of brothers. Ooh, Brigar's blade. Well, that's kind of neat. Let's so we'll go ahead and finish. Will you lend me your ear? I did not think that the sight of this blade would move me so. This belongs to a friend of ours, a Duradain named Thorem. He died helping us to defend Dalring West many years ago. We buried him and built a cairn where he fell in honor of a sacrifice. Perhaps Torin is right. There are many harsh memories here. In the West, we would be free of such pain. His sword deserves a better home away from the goblins that loot the dead. Bring it to Langlis at Thracy's Lodge, north of here, along the road and west of Keladul. He is a ranger of the north and will keep well the history of his kind. I will send word to my brother. Okay, well that'll be good. we will be happy to do that. And let's see, another deed completed. Cool. And a deed bestowed. Alright, that'll work out well. Okay, and let's take a look here. Excellent. Oh, and if we take a look here, down by the river are the docks of Colodul. So that's where the Dowerhan stronghold is. And that's Northern Arid Luan and the River Luan. So another good view. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So in our next video, we'll go ahead and go up to Thracy's camp, uh, or Thracy's Lodge, and perhaps eventually to Gondaman. So I certainly hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it was kind of neat looking at some different places and, you know, kind of going off the, the beaten track. So, if you did enjoy it, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, safe journeys and take care.